Hello again, I'm back with another Clue video. If you've seen my other videos on how to play Clue and how to win at Clue, awesome. I've gotten a lot of great comments and feedback from that, but I've also gotten a lot of questions. So this is the video that I really am going to answer most of your questions. So I like to go ahead and play, no hints, I like to play Mr. Green and I like to play with every player on the board. So there's myself plus five others. Suspect weapon and room cards are put away. Those are my cards on the bottom. And we spin to see who goes first. And it's Mr. Plum. So if you've watched my other videos, you know that my thing is here. I've got Scarlet. I've got Rope. I've got Kitchen. Let's watch what he does. He's guessing Scarlet, Rope, and Ballroom. Mustard has a, is showing that check mark, meaning he has it. And as I've showed you before on how to mark your board, when you see somebody picking a card, you go through and you see what you can do. Now, he's picked Scarlet, but I have Scarlet. He picked Rope, but as you can see, I have Rope. So therefore, we know that Colonel Mustard has the ballroom. Let's move on. Now it's Mustard's turn. He's going to the lounge, and we will see what he's picking. Plum, Revolver and Lounge, and now Orchid has a card. Uh, but we don't know which card Orchid showed Mustard. We do know that she showed one of these three cards to him. So since Orchid has three cards, her first card is either Plum, Revolver, or Lounge. So we're going to go ahead and put one on Plum, the Revolver, and the Lounge so that we can remember these three cards for later. And as we deduce who doesn't have those other cards, we'll know which of those three cards ultimately was hers later. So now it's Orchid's turn. She goes into the study. She's suggesting Peacock with Revolver. And Scarlet has something. But we don't know what Scarlet showed. So we're going to do the same thing. We know at least what her first card is. It was either Peacock, the Revolver, or the study. So we put one, one, one there. So now it's Scarlet's turn. We're going to be the first person to uh, have to show a card if we have it. Scarlet, which we know we have. Wrench and Ballroom. And we're forced to show Scarlet. So it's our turn. We've rolled. It lights up the rooms that we can get to. And so I'm going to suggest maybe we go to one of the rooms that has already come up, say the lounge. And the reason I'm going to say the lounge is because if somebody comes up with the lounge, then I know that that one is a card that they don't have. So now let's see. We don't really know much else in what we want to guess. I guess let's just pick the revolver. Let's see who has it. And let's pick Peacock. And there's no real right or wrong reason to it. But what I am looking to do is to find out if these ones are correct or incorrect. So let's see what happens. Mrs. Peacock has nothing. Plum has nothing. Mustard has lounge. Great. So let's come back here. As you can see, the app is great because it's crossed off in Peacock, the people who don't have Peacock that we just learned about. But let's come down to here because now we know the second card that Mustard has, which is the Lounge. But see, there's the one there. We can take it off because we now know that of those three cards, she didn't have the Lounge. Mean when she, meaning when she showed that card, she either showed Plum or Revolver. So let's keep going. We have figured out two of the three cards Mr. Mustard has. And if we could just get one more of his cards sussed out, we actually can eliminate all those other cards in his column. Okay, so Peacock has asked, Orchid Rope Dining Room. So let's come here. As you can see, it populates with X's because it's automatically learned that those people don't have cards. But now that we're honing in on something here, we already know that Orchid's first card is either Plum or Revolver. But now she's shown a second card. So I'm going to put a two here because she either now just showed Orchid. She didn't show Rope since we have it. Or... She showed the dining rooms. We now know her first card is Revolver or Plum, but we also know her second card is Orchid or Dining Room. Is it possible she has both? We at least know that in those 
four cards that she has two of them. Okay, so he's get Plum is guessing Scarlet, Wrench, Hall, of which I have to show my Scarlet again. And the more the more a column fills in with X's like this Hall, the more you have to wonder if the Hall is in fact the room. Because if I don't have it and these two people don't have it, okay. So back to the Hall, Mustard, Lead Pipe in the Hall, and I don't have it. Okay. So let's come here because now we know Plum's first card. Plum asked Mustard, Lead Pipe, and Hall, and Plum either came up with, we're going to put the one since this is his first card, Mustard, Lead Pipe, or Hall. So that's good to know. But looking at the Hall, it's starting to look like that's a very good possibility. So that's something that we're going to need to explore, or we're going to hopefully see somebody else explore on their turn. And we'll get some information. The dining room, green, candlestick, and dining room. But immediately, Scarlet has something. Now, we've already put down ones for her first card. But we're in an interesting situation because we now know that her second card is one of these three. So we're going to put a two with green. We're going to put a two since it's with candlestick. And we're going to put a two here in dining room. So we now know what her possible first card is and her possible second card is. Let's keep going. Okay, so Scarlet's rolling. It's first coming to me, and she's going to the library. Plum, wrench, library. I have none, but Mrs. Peacock has shown a card. So this is interesting. We now have a chance to write down what her first card is going to be. So let's go ahead and put a one down for plum or a one down for wrench or a one down for library. Her first card is one of those three cards and our turn is coming up next. So let's talk about how to really make a good key guess here. First, let's see what room we can get in and let's talk about how we use the numbers that we've written to create the best set guess. Now of the rooms that we have rolled that we can get into, we can get into the dining room and we can get into the hall, or we can get into three rooms that we already know. I do like trying to get to the hall because if Plum does not have the hall, then we have figured out the room. The only thing of course that will throw a wrench in this is if Peacock, who gets asked before Plum, has a card. So we're going to pick cards that we know Peacock doesn't have. We know Peacock doesn't have herself because there's an X there. And we know Peacock doesn't have a revolver. We're going to guess Peacock and a revolver. Well, he had that. Is it the hall? Okay, it is the hall. But look what it's done to us here. Let's come back here. Now that one room that we didn't know. Green, candlestick, and hall, but we know what he showed. We know he has the hall. There's no new information in that guess. And Plum rolls a seven, moves into the billiard room, and guesses mustard, revolver, of which he has a card. So now this is interesting because we know with Mr. Mustard, we already know his first two cards. We know he has a ballroom. We know he has the lounge. But now he, we know his third card is either a three, because this is his third card, mustard, revolver, or billiard. But there's something even more important here. Now that we know that that's his third card, we know that he doesn't have any other cards because everybody only has three cards. So with that information, we can go ahead and we can cross off every other possibility from his column. 